The Sunday night game. The Bears at Los Angeles. Uh, the Rams are a 7.5-point favorite, total of 46. Do you think that NBC would have scheduled this game for the Sunday night game had they known that it was going to be Andy Dalton at quarterback? Yes. You so this is all about SoFi Stadium getting yep. people in there, right? Yep, it's a stadium play. That's it. That's a, that is such a weird reason to have a, an entire broadcast dedicated to something, right? Like well, it, that's what the broadcast is going to be dedicated to. Just this brand new stadium that was open, you know. Yeah, because Monday Night Football is doing the exact same thing. Yeah, no, you're right. You're the, right. The, the next two games we're going to talk about are the exact same thing. Nobody gives a shit about the game. Nobody thinks the game is going to be great, but doesn't matter. We got these new stadiums that are going to be packed full of people, and we need to showcase them. Yeah, I mean, I guess it'll be cool to see people out in these cities, but I don't know why these are the primetime games. But either way, either way, we are going to discuss it. The Bears and the Rams, again, Rams favored by 7.5, odds provided by BetUS, where the game begins. I want to go Rams big here because I think Matt Stafford wants to come out with a team that actually has weapons, with a team that actually has defense, all that good stuff. The The hook scares me, but also I maybe I'm not scared. I, I think this could be a double digits Rams win. At home, new stadium, you know, I do think home field is going to matter a little bit this year. I, I'm i going to roll the Rams minus the 7.5 here. I, I think think this team comes out with a little juice because of that home crowd and, and everything else. Yeah, I would too. It scares me that I'm taking nothing but favorites except for the Browns. But at some point in time, I'm certain that's going to bite me in the ass. I, I don't care. I'm not betting on this Bears team. They're all, this, is, this might be the worst offensive line in the league. This Rams front should eat them alive. They should they should murder them off in, uh, on the defensive side of the ball. The other side of it, yeah, I think Sean. Here's what I think. I think reports that Jared Goff in in the Lions camp is really bad, really bad. <laughs> I I think Sean McVay is going to show the world how much he carried that team with Jared Goff at quarterback. Now, some of that's on him because I told you he's the one that went to the front office and fought for him to get a big gas extension. So that's that's on Sean McVay. That's not nobody else made him do that. True. But I think we're gonna see Sean actually have a nice shiny new toy and he's gonna let it out of the box and he's gonna show it to the whole world. That's that's the way that I'm feeling about Stafford here. I think he's actually got a, a good team surrounding him for the first time since he was at Georgia. And and I think I mean obviously you know, Stafford did play with good wide receivers. We get that. But, like, an entire team. But it's not about who you played with. Right. It, we, we have watched football long enough to know coaches matter more than players. Yes. On a lot of these teams. They just yes. do. Very much. They just do. So, Jared Goff made it to a Super Bowl. That's right. What in the world are we talking about? That's right. <laughs> All right, both rolling minus the seven and a half here. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.